Welcome to Miskatonic University, home of the prestigious Orn Library, which includes the country's largest collection of occult books. I once studied here as a student, later donning the mantle of professor and passing along all I learned to the next generation of astronomy students. This place was like a second home to me. Perhaps the things I left behind will provide you with clues to the answers you seek. Ah, science and astrophysics. I'll feel right at home here. Oh, it has changed over the years. But no place feels more like home to me. Not even my little house. The secretary said Professor Norman Withers could give us access to Professor Tillinger's office. But what do we expect to find? We won't know until we look. All right, let's brace this Withers character and find out what's what. With offices right next to each other, Professors Tillinghast and Withers were bound to have been friends, or rivals. Professor Tillinghast's door is locked. But of course, my friend. Academics are no less prone to snooping around each other's secrets. Some have even been known to steal a colleague's research and present it as their own. We'd better ask Withers for the key. I see no, Agatha. You will pardon me for saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit scientific. I refuse to believe that Wilhelmina would have... Oh, they're talking about me. Norman and I were colleagues for years. So naturally, we addressed each other by our Christian names. You, of course, may call me Professor Tillingust. Yes, what is it? How can I help you? Pardon the intrusion, Professor Withers. We're investigating Professor Tillinghast's unfortunate death, and we... Not again. Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Oh, these constant intrusions by reporters and police and garden variety busybodies. As I told your friends earlier, I do not wish to be disturbed. Listen, pal... Wait just a moment, Norman. Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. Oh, forgive my manners. I'm Professor Agatha Crane. And you seem to know of my colleague, Professor Norman Withers. Something tells me you've seen Wilhelmina, haven't you? Uh, that is, Professor Tillinghast. Agatha, for heaven's sake, stop this nonsense. No, Professor Withers. She's right. We have seen unusual things. We arrived too late to save Professor Tillinghast, but we've seen evidence that whatever happened to her was unnatural to say the least. We intend to get to the bottom of it. I told you, Norman, that box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. I, for one, want to see it for myself. You there, come with me. What? 
What are you going, you, you, you confounded parapsychologist? To the observatory. Wait here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed further. old observatory. Don't be fooled by its antiquated fixtures, my friends. Of course, the new Gerald Warren Astronomical Observatory is a technological marvel, but I shall always remember this one more fondly. Through these telescopes, I first gazed with wonder at the stars and the vast voids between them. Could it be? Yes, these glyphs indicate gestures of power, of magic. This, my friends, is a grimoire, a book of spells. What it is doing at the university, I cannot say. But we mustn't let this opportunity go to waste. We must see whether these spells work. Here is the mysterious box. The label marks it as belonging to Professor Tillingist. What are these strange things inside? This symbol. It was in Professor Tillingist's room. You've seen this symbol in Wilhelmina's room, haven't you? It is similar to the iconography of ancient pagan rituals. Here is proof that Wilhelmina's research went beyond known science and into the realm of the paranormal. Many of our colleagues questioned Agatha's unorthodox avenues of research, but none questioned her resolve. Once she sets her mind to a goal, nothing can stop her. We must show this to Norman. Only then will he help us. <laughs> 